that I've just been asked what that piece was. Well, I have to say to you that I made it up on the spot, but I think I can largely remember what I did. And I want to explain to you why it works and what's going on with it. I'll just play it through again, if I can, and, um, or something like it, and we'll see what it is that's going on here. Now, I think it went something like... Now why is it, I was asked, that, that that is so satisfying? What is it about that piece and the, the way I've chosen the chords I have? Or why I, in fact, just intuitively used them when I was improvising? Well, I think the thing about it is, fundamentally, all music, or most music, or certainly the music that I write is all really to do with pain and the resolution of pain. So we have an opening statement here which just really establishes the key. And then it repeats. And then it comes on to a dissonance. Now that's an agonised chord, but used where it is there. You don't really be gone, and then it's gone, it's gone. The pain is there. On onto a weak, but it sets this up, this, oh. And there's, there's our nasty dissonance in there as well. On to a nice weak one. And then the final rest in peace. And you could something naughty here or something more ordinary. And dissonance is a, a strange. You see, you can have something like this. There's a dissonance. Now I'll wrap that up so you won't know it's in there, but it'll still have the same tension. A bit ridiculous, I mean, I really have mixed the styles there. But you can have something that sort of... So yeah, tension.
attention again. What a loving chord. Tension in here. Tension again. And so forth, and then it sort of builds to its um, conclusion. Well, I'm not going to give it all away, but obviously um, Art of Melody is one of the pieces that I'm working on a piano transcription of, and um, I should be very happy to do it. <laughs>